Hey YouTube, this is Doc Drew. Uh, for my second video, uh, I think I'll, uh, I'll do a quick review of my Glock 30S. This is a uh, 45 uh, ECP uh, Glock uh, subcompact. Um, for subcompact uh, uh, Glocks in 45 ACP, um, Glock makes the uh, Glock 30, uh, which is a 10 round, the Glock 36, which is a single stack 6 round, and uh, somewhat recently they came out with the Glock 30S, uh, which kind of combines the best of both worlds. Um, basically what the, uh, the 30S is, is they took the uh, Glock 30 SF frame. Um, the Glock 30 is a 10 round uh, double stack uh, subcompact 45, and the SF designation means that they've shaved it down just a little bit um, in the frame right here to make it a little bit smaller in your hand. So the 30S, they combine that frame, the 30 SF frame, with the 36 slide. The 30 and the 30S have a slightly wider slide here, um, added weight, um, but the 36, since it was a single stack, um, six round capacity, um, it had a thinner slide. So they combined the two, uh, I guess uh, some people were buying both guns, the 30 and the 36, and making their own 30S. Uh, um, Glock realized what they were doing and decided to produce the gun uh, on their own. Um, so this is the 30S, again it's a, basically a 36 slide and a 30SF frame. So you get the, uh, the weight uh, and slimness of the 36, um, but the uh, additional rounds 10 plus 1 um, from the 30, and a great package of the 30S. Um, I've had this one for just a few months, I've only put a few hundred rounds through it, uh, but so far I'm really impressed. Uh, I love Glock, um, they're uh, completely reliable and uh, it's what, what I would prefer to depend my life on. Um, uh, this one has, has been no different. It's uh, very reliable so far. Again, it's only a few hundred rounds, but um, it's been great for me so far. Um, uh, again, it's only a few hundred rounds, but it's been mostly just bulk, uh, cheap, inexpensive ammo. Um, and then uh, there's, I've put a few of uh, the, uh, the Hornady uh, Critical Duty uh, in there. Um, I've got some, uh, also some Hornady uh, American Gunner, I believe is what it's called. Um, and uh, those are the two that I usually carry in this one. Um, this gun's primary role is uh, a secondary concealed carry for me and a truck gun. I uh, keep this in my truck 24-7 um, and, uh, and I've got to uh, actually keep this holster in there with it. Um, so that if for whatever reason I leave the house without my uh, primary concealed carry, I've got this. Uh, it's always in the car um, so I can use it uh, if I need to carry. Um, or again, it's just in the car in the, the center console if I ever need it. Um, one of the, uh, the things I like about this, again, the, the, you know, this, this slimmer uh, uh, design, I guess, for the uh, uh, 10 round capacity subcompact 45s from Glock, um, there's a couple of magazine options for it. Um, what I usually carry it with, very difficult to get in there, um, is a 9 round magazine. Um, as you can see, it's a flush fitting there. Um, relatively flush fitting, it does stick out just a little bit, but um, but very compact. That's what I carry it with in the holster. Um, it's it's a you know a good feel on the hand. I with my relatively small hands, I can actually get about half of my pinky on there, um, so it does work for me. Um, now other magazines, what it actually comes with is a 10 round magazine uh, that actually has a small extension. This is actually a Pierce extension. Um, that I put on there, the one that comes on it um, has no finger groove or, or checkering in there. It's just a rounded trigger guard. But I thought the uh, the Pierce, uh, you know, was a little more comfortable, and it's nice that it matches the uh, the front serrations uh, that were already on there. Uh, so that's nice that you know it gives it gets my my whole pinky on there, so it's a much more comfortable grip. Um, but uh, I'm okay for concealed carrying, sacrificing that one extra round for just a little bit more concealed concealability. Um, now one other great thing about Glock is that um, uh, any guns, uh, subcompact or compact, will also accept uh, any magazines that are larger or that, that are for the larger gun in the same caliber. So this is actually a magazine for my Glock 21. Uh, it's a 13 round magazine, um, but it fits in there. It's kind of ugly in there, but it would work great as a backup magazine. Um, if you've uh, expended all the rounds in your primary magazine, this is this would work great as a secondary magazine. It gives you a few extra rounds. Um, now what I've done to this, um, uh, first of all, I put the extended slide stop on there. This is a subcompact, but when I get my, my grip on there, my thumb cannot reach the standard uh, magazine release that comes on it, or excuse me, the standard um, 
a slide release that comes on there. So I put the extended one there. It gives just that little pump gives it a, a little extra something for my thumb to catch. Uh, it works very well. Uh, I've also got uh, Trigicon Tritium Night Sights on there. Um, I think that's a, a great idea for any gun that you're going to conceal carry. Is night sights are very important. Uh, and the last thing is something that I've done to all of my uh, subcompact Glocks is I did a trigger guard undercut. Um, when the Glock uh, comes from the factory, the trigger guard is the same uh, thickness all the way through. Um, and I just shaved this down here just a little bit. Uh, you can see it's a little thinner right there than the rest of the trigger guard. And what that allows is just it lets me get my hand just a little bit higher on the grip, which as I said with the 9 round magazine lets me get my pinky on there somewhat. Uh, so it's just a little more comfortable to get my hand a little bit higher, uh, closer to the bore, uh, just a little more comfortable. And also uh, I just smoothed it out a little bit so it's a little more comfortable on my, my finger so I don't get the Glock knuckle there. Um, now uh, one other thing, as I said, uh, I keep this in my car with the holster here. Um, this is actually a four corners concealment holster. Um, I just found out about them recently. Um, and I had been looking for a, an uh, inside the waistband Kydex holster. Um, this one uh, fit everything I needed. Um, I had, I've had a previous different brand of Kydex holster where the, uh, the belt clip or belt loop uh, was also made out of Kydex and it just from wearing it it had worn out and, uh, and it was not really clipping onto my belt any longer. Uh, so when I was looking for this one I wanted something with an injection molded uh, belt loop or belt clip um, and this one looked great. Um, it's also one of the few that I know of inside the waistband Kydex holsters that comes with the adjustable um, cant. Uh, which I like, and it's also got adjustable retention. So this, is, again, is from Four Corners Concealment. Uh, I believe this one is called the Scorpion. Um, uh, great guys to deal with, uh, and I've been very happy with this. Uh, again, I've only had this a few months, uh, so I've got limited carrying time with this holster, but, but so far it's been great. Um, the lines are, are nice and clean. It's, uh, it's been, you know, uh, ground uh, around the edges, so it's, there's no sharp edges, nothing to catch you on. Um, again, it's a great holster that I've uh, really enjoyed carrying it with. It's very comfortable. Um, but, uh, but overall, this is, uh, this is my Glock 30S again. Um, uh, I've been happy with it so far. Only a few hundred rounds through it, um, but uh, as, a, as a Glock should be, it's, it's completely reliable and I've had no issues out of it whatsoever. Um, and uh, I plan to continue carrying it in the truck and uh, when needed in the holster. Um, I would certainly recommend this to you. Um, there, there aren't a whole lot of uh, subcompact uh, concealed carry options for the, the 45 caliber. Um, I previously had a 3-inch 1911, which I, I did not care for. Um, it, it just the recoil was was awful on it. Um, it was just so heavy for its size, uh, and only eight rounds. Again, this is 11 rounds total, um, and uh, not much bigger, uh, certainly in the length and height um, than the 3-inch 1911. Um, the width is going to be a slightly you know, it will be slightly wider than a 3-inch 1911, but, um, but, uh, but it's certainly concealable for me. Um, I really enjoyed it. So if you, you are looking for a subcompact uh, concealed carry weapon in a 45, I think this is a great option. Um, I think the 36 would also be a great option uh, You know, if you were comfortable with limiting yourself to the 7 rounds. But again, if you had a spare magazine for the Glock 36, um, then basically you've got 13 rounds and you know, you're back up to, uh, to what you know, somebody would carry in a Glock 21 uh, if you've got the ability to carry a second magazine on you. Um, there, I know there's, uh, there are other options such as the XDS, um, the, the single stack uh, 45, but, um, but for a, a double stack, uh, relatively high capacity subcompact 45, I think that the 30S is a great option. Um, so if you're, you're interested in something like that, I think you should definitely check this out. Um, uh, if you guys have any questions about my channel or this video uh, or any of the guns I've mentioned, um, please feel free to post in the comment section. Um, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching.